Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zhang here, and today I'm back with another episode of Road to Ranked, where I climb the online VGC 16 ladder and provide live commentary as I go. Just gonna hop into today's episode, continuing to use Jamie's team, just under the 1700s currently. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting too much in the last couple of days. The next two weeks are gonna be a little bit erratic in terms of uploads, and that's mainly because I have uh, been practicing for SoCal and Oregon Regionals, which is coming up this weekend and the following weekend, so really wanna do well there to lock up my Worlds invitation, but I'll still do my best to to keep up with the content uh, and I will most likely be doing a team analysis on the teams that I use at those tournaments and I'll try to upload as many battle videos as well so look forward to that. Anyway we're gonna get into our very first game a Korean opponent with a rating of just under the 1600s. As always if you enjoy Road to Rank please share your support by leaving a like in the video I'd really appreciate it. Opponent here is rocking a team of Evil Tall, Groudon, Gengar, Mawile, Talonflame, and Liopard so pretty scary looking team in general. I think he has fake out pressure immediately and tailwind support, which is always troublesome in general just because, you know, it speaks to the hyper offensiveness off the team. Uh, Kyogre can be really good here. Uh, Water Spot can actually just damage everything for either super effective or neutral, and the Rayquaza switching to uh, Kyogre and going for an attack can be really huge as well. The main issue is dealing with the potential tailwind here, and as always, figuring out what to lead with is pretty important. The Evil Tall is a major threat as well, I would say. Now, Togetic for redirection honestly might not be a bad idea this game. Though, I guess he could lead Gengar. But, I kind of want to go with Togetic Kyogre here. To maybe set up Tailwind, or just go for a, a Dazzling Gleam or a Follow Me. Definitely want Rayquaza in the back. For the last one... It's kind of a tough call here. Um, I mean, Raichu actually does a lot with Volt Tackle to everything. Yeah, I'm going to go with Raichu. I don't think Gengar can do too much uh, damage wise other than maybe Sludge Bomb Talonflame. So I'm pretty interested for this matchup especially to see which two Pokemon my opponent decides not to bring since all six of them are definitely pretty viable in this matchup. So let's see what he ends up bringing out. Okay so we are going to see the Mawile and the Liopard lead here against the Kyogre and the Togetic. Uh, definitely would say this is probably in my opponent's favor. Though I guess that's kind of amusing because Liopard can only fake out one of two Pokemon here. Unfortunately, fake out and follow me are on the same priority bra bracket, so I can't just like follow me Water Spout. I guess I could just double protect, honestly. Uh, obviously, you want to think twice about protecting when you're up against a Liopard. But the thing is, he could very well switch into Groudon right now. Ah, I could Tailwind. I think I'm going to double pro Oh, wait, I can't protect with Togetic. <laughs> Okay. Mm. The other question is, does he go for like a fake out and a play rough onto Kyogre? Or does he fake out Togetic, play rough Kyogre? Does he switch into Groudon? I guess without Protect, I'm going to go for the Tailwind here. And I'll just Water Spot. I doubt that he'll let me get this off, but in the off chance that I do get it off, that would be huge. I guess he could also Sucker Punch me here, though, which would be problematic. And Tailwind doesn't matter as much in this game, because he didn't go with his Tailwind user. He's going to fake out. Yeah, going to fake out Kyogre. He's actually faster. Okay, Togetic is slower than I thought it is. It actually hangs on, though, and gets the Tailwind up, which is fantastic. Okay. Actually, I do remember, I think he has a 2-speed IV Togetic, and that's mainly for the after you plays under Trick Room, which is pretty interesting, but uh, Togetic is bulk really coming in there. So I could go for the Follow Me Water Spout play. But there's a high chance he switches into Groudon. However, he could also Sucker Punch here. So the play, the two plays I have here is to go for the Follow Me with Togetic, or switch into Rayquaza and Water Spout. I mean, he's got to be considering that, right? But I think it's too risky if I just follow me. Hmm. You know what? Let's go for the follow me play. Nice. I had a gut feeling for some reason that he would stay in. Ooh, a swagger coming out from Liepark. That's not good. So you've seen fake out and we've seen swagger. Probably fall play encore then as the last two moves. Here's a water spout. Might just knock out the uh, Mawile. Nice. He didn't even have Focus Sash on Liopard, so he picked up a double knockout. 
there's no doubt in my mind he was swaggering Kyogre there. So, the reason why I opted not to switch into Rayquaza, because I was like, okay, worst case here, he switch in, switches into Groudon and goes for a Encore, maybe. But then I can just switch into Rayquaza the following turn. So he's going to bring in Groudon, his last one's probably Evil Tall. Yep, no surprise there. And that was only one turn of Tailwind gone, so I still have two more turns to fully utilize, which is excellent. Uh, however, unfortunately, because my Togetic is swaggered, I would like to switch it out right now. And I think the best play is to honestly just switch into Rayquaza and go for a Water Spout. He might go for the follow Protect play, Protect with Groudon, follow or uh, Dark type Attack Kyogre, but that's not too bad. So yeah, I'm actually just going to switch into Rayquaza and... Uh, maybe Sculpt would be better. Nah, let's just Water Spout. Kyogre's pretty bulky here. So yeah, Togetic really coming through with the Tailwind surviving and then getting the follow me off. But the game's still obviously not over. Okay, so Airlock is out now, so that means Water type attacks will affect Groudon. He doesn't protect either, maybe hoping for uh, overextension on my end. I'm not going to give it to him. Water Spout here picks up the one-hit KO onto Groudon. So I know some players were asking about that in the last episode, why I was able to just get a Water type attack off against Groudon in the sunlight. And that is because Rayquaza's Airlock does cancel that out. Uh, it's one reason why Rayquaza is a really awesome Pokemon in this format, and why it's often paired with Kyogre. Uh, not only after you Mega Evolve, you know, you have Delta Stream, which also cancels out the Primal abilities, but even before airlock is an excellent way to mitigate the uh the different weathers so i'm just going to drag an ascent here and uh switch back out into togetic since he did get the snarl off but it's going to be a 4-1 win here and we take a very fast win in the first game of today's episode pretty content with that for sure uh, the lead basically determined everything and then him not having focus sash on liopard that was kind of a big deal because most liopards do carry focus sash uh, almost all of them. Sometimes you might see your like black glasses to boost the power of foul play, but otherwise, Focus Ash is really the best item to ensure that it gets multiple attacks off. And uh, because he didn't have Focus Ash, he wasn't able to uh, potentially put some swagger rolls into his favor the following turn. So that puts us just under the 1700s, and hopefully, a win here would put us over it. And then we can finally try to make that push into the 1750s, 1800s. Gonna find Fulo from Fa France. I definitely mispronounced that with a rating of 1606 for our next game. <laughs> uh, okay, this should be fun. So, looks like uh, he is a fan of Jamie's team as well, as we have a exact mirror matchup here. Should be interesting. Now, my question is whether he has Static or Volt Absorb. Or Static, or, yeah, or Volt Absorb on Raichu, because if he doesn't have Volt Absorb... Or Lightning Rod, excuse me, I was uh, wrong ability there. If he doesn't have Lightning Rod, then my Raichu is actually free to go for electric type attacks, which is definitely amusing. Mm, Gengar Icy Wind can be a pretty good option for both sides. I, I feel like we're going to end up bringing the same four Pokemon. Togetic's not too great here, I don't think. <laughs> this is certainly interesting. I kind of want to go with Raichu Kyogre. He might go with that too, but I know I have Lightning Rod, so I'm not worried about his electric type attacks. Even if he does have Lightning Rod, like, yeah, it's not too bad. And then I'll go with Rayquaza and Gengar in the back. Alright, let's have at it. Mirror match. Mm, maybe Togetic's not the worst Pokemon to bring, because you can redirect. But that's kind of the reason why I'm going with Raichu and Kyogre, because I can just... Uh, with, with, with Kyogre, I can just go with Water Spout, which hits Scizor, Raichu, Togetic, and Gengar for heavy damage, and chunks Rayquaza and Kyogre. And I definitely want Raichu on my side of the team. Scizor and Togetic can't have any offensive presence against Kyogre, but Raichu can. So, uh, pretty excited for this one. Uh, would be pretty funny to jump into the 1700s with a win against the exact same mirror matchup. But, uh, of course, we might have different EV spreads, uh, but Jamie did upload his team analysis. So he actually goes with Raichu and Rayquaza here, which is pretty good, I would say, against my Raichu and Kyogre. And Rayquaza coming out as a lead is definitely interesting. And Togetic actually would have worked out here, but, nah. So let's see. What can I do? turn one we both have fake out pressure i can nuzzle but once again i don't know whether he has lightning rod or not it would be nice to eliminate rayquaza i do have faint pressure in case he wants to faint but we might just trade fake outs here hmm and then he can, he can switch out into gengar 
Could risk the fake out onto the Raichu. That would be interesting. Could also switch out into Gengar. Maybe I'll do that. Fake out Rayquaza. Switch out into Gengar. I like that, actually. Alright. Uh, because the thing is, with Gengar in, I can actually Icy Wind, and the speed decreases is huge for Kyogre outspeeding and coming back in. So I'm expecting the fake out going into Gengar here. He's gonna Mega Evolve, which is okay. It does give him the speed boost, but it does mean that I'll be able to get the rain back up with my Kyogre. So, main question is, did he, like, go for a risky fake out onto my Raichu? Oh, he did, and he wins the speed tie! No! And he's gonna Dragon Ascent probably into the Kyogre slot. So I could have stayed in an Ice Beam, but I didn't think he'd risk the speed tie. I guess it's a pretty safe play on your end, though. Like, that's just obnoxious. Ugh. But speed ties define this format. It's just you never expect to see a Raichu speed tie. <laughs> so he's Life Orb. Yeah, not much surprise there. Um, another wonderful speed tie between Gengar and Raichu now, which is also great. I'm definitely going for the Icy Wind. Maybe I'll just faint Icy Wind, honestly. He could Dragon Ascend Gengar, too. But his Raichu can't touch mine. So I'm going to faint Icy Wind. Um, if he protects, that'd be excellent. Actually, his Raichu can't touch Gengar, either. So I guess you have to Dragon Ascend here. Let's see if he went for it. I'm assuming he's Max Speed Rayquaza. He actually withdraws Rayquaza. Okay. Into Kyogre? Togetic. Interesting. So there's the feint. That's not going to do anything, obviously. Here's an icy wind. Okay. Does some decent damage, I guess. <laughs> damage is damage. So is this Raichu just going for a Volt Tackle? Yeah, he's just going to nuzzle into my Raichu. <laughs> I wonder if that means he's not Lightning Rod. So this is actually pretty great. Um... And Sludge Bomb Togetic. If he's using the same Togetic, the question here is Raichu is probably going to want to switch out. Yeah, he actually literally can't do anything, right? So. But I, I don't know if Sludge Bomb knocks out Togetic. Like, I would love to double up on Togetic, but I also want to capitalize off him switching out the Raichu. I mean, getting a nuzzle off against whatever comes in would be huge. So I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb here. I'm really hoping to see a Raichu switch out. Even if it doesn't, though, it's not the worst case. Nice, he does switch out. Excellent. So whatever's coming in is getting paralyzed. Ectoplasma. Oh, it's his own Gengar. Oh, he pulls out the double switch. Interesting. So it looks like he didn't bring in Kyogre, which is also a pretty interesting choice. Um, paralysis onto Rayquaza definitely would have been nicer here, but... I'll take what I can get. Uh, the turn ends up working out definitely in my favor, so uh, pretty poor start, but we are slowly uh, crawling our way back into this one. Uh, I actually hope I don't point. Eh, poison wouldn't be too bad, I guess, because then Rayquaza could potentially knock him out with uh, the Life Orb um, Extreme Speed. I actually do get the poison here. Hmm, okay. So this is huge. Huge, huge. Now, I kind of want to conserve Raichu, but I don't have great switch-ins. Is it worth conserving Raichu? I don't think so. Don't think so. Gengar is definitely going to want to Icy Wind here. If I were him, I'd probably Icy Wind Dragon Ascend. Though, so actually, that would be kind of bad for him. Um, maybe I'll just Volt Tackle for the damage here. Volt Tackle Icy Wind. Yeah. I guess you could protect Rayquaza, but when you know that Raichu is faint, that's not a good idea. Maybe faint would have been better. No, he actually extreme speeds. Does that knock out Raichu? Oh, it does. So I'm going to be able to knock out Rayquaza, and yeah, if I connect with Icy Wind, that, that's also... Okay, okay, we're good here. So I get the Icy Wind off, but if Gengar gets an attack off, he'll be able to knock out my Gengar with an Icy Wind or a Sludge Bomb. Uh, survival here would actually be really excellent, but I'll take what I can get. So, do we get a full paralysis? Oh, we do! That's a game changer right there. That's huge. So, I'll bring in my Rayquaza now. 
Because he doesn't have much offense. He's probably going to bring in Raichu, but the thing is, if I knock out Raichu, then Kyogre wins the game with Water Spout. So that was definitely an unfortunate full paralysis. Uh, I guess making a, up a little bit for the speed high earlier, since I took a ton of unnecessary damage. Like, had I won the speed high against Rayquaza, Gengar would, had, wouldn't have been brought down to its focus edge. But, you know, you can't really complain about that, and you have to uh, play. And I, I think his play was actually, the best play was to just fake out Raichu. Um... Because if you get it, then you just get a ton of free damage. If you don't get it, then you just trade fake outs. So, uh, fortunately enough, I was able to get the nuzzle into the uh, Gengar. He actually brings in Togetic, which I really don't understand here. I don't think that's the right Pokemon to bring in here to win right now. Though I guess it makes sense if your last Pokemon is Raichu. Um... That's actually kind of interesting. Because I don't know if Sludge Bomb knocks out Togetic. I don't think it will. He can Icy Wind. Hmm. Actually, maybe Togetic was the right Pokemon to bring in then. Because I think if I were him, I would Dazzling Gleam with Togetic and Icy Wind. Though I should be able to survive Dazzling Gleam, right? Even at minus one. So I'll just Dragon Ascent here and Sludge Bomb. if I survive, then it's Rayquaza Kyogre against his Raichu. Let's see. It's coming down to the wire. Nothing less than you'd expect for a mirror matchup. But uh, I am pretty interested in his decision to end up bringing Togetic. He's got Follow Me. Oh, that might actually be huge. I forgot to consider that Gengar outspeeds. So it comes down to... I don't think Sludge Bomb's going to knock him out here. Oh! It doesn't. He's going to get an icy wind off here with Gengar then. Oh, that might have won him the game. That was a great play by my opponent. I guess I got to protect Haunted, but... It was actually kind of a... Well, it also comes down to whether he attacks here with Gengar or not. Full paralysis or miss would seal the deal, I think. Icy wind. Looks like he does connect here with both. Hmm. See, now this is still interesting because the game's not over yet. Uh, I'll, bring it, I'll be able to bring in Kyogre. Voltaiko should knock out Kyogre. He's taking some damage onto Raichu. That was an excellent play by him. Actually, I, I I really didn't think that turn fully, I think. I think the best play would have been actually to just switch out into Kyogre and then thread him with Water Spout. As opposed to him letting him get damage off against Rayquaza. I should have done that. So now Raichu's going to want to... I wonder if Volt Tackle knocks out Rayquaza. Good extreme speed as well. Is that enough to knock him out? You want... I gotta wonder. Oh. Or I can Dragon Ascent... Oh, I shouldn't have Water Spot. I meant to Skull. He's going to go for the Volt Tackle. Okay, so this is what I was hoping for. He Volt Tackles Kyogre, takes enough recoil that I can uh, Extreme Speed knock out the Raichu next turn. That should be an Extreme Speed KO range. But Faint? Actually, is Faint? I think Faint's priority is higher, so... I don't know, maybe plus uh, Faint against the Rayquaza can knock me out. This is so close. Could have protected with Kyogre there as well. Um, was that the better play? But the thing is, then Volt Tackle could be able to knock out my Rayquaza. Alright, here we go. This is it, guys. This is freaking it. I mean, you definitely go for the Faint here with Raichu. Extreme Speed just wins the game otherwise. I think Faint goes before Extreme Speed, because Extreme Speed is at plus 2. Faint, I think, should be... Oh, no, I guess... I actually should double check on that, but <laughs> oh man, we managed to squeak out a, a great win there. Extreme Speed coming out, knocking out the Raichu, and winning us in the mirror match up here. So we're able to take it 1-0 uh, in a really, really close battle. And yeah, I did get a little bit fortunate with the full paralysis onto Gengar that one turn. Um, but when Gengar is out for the field for multiple turns, you know, the chances of full paralyzing at least once isn't too slim. But I uh, definitely got fortunate there. He made an excellent play going for the follow me play, which I didn't really consider at all. And I definitely should have switched out into Kyogre because 
you know, since he's obviously using a replica of this team, uh, Gengar, Togetic, and Raichu, none of those three Pokemon carry Protect, so as long as I get Kyogre in, I can just go for the Water Spout play and spam it, and so I could have put myself into a better position, honestly, instead of leaving a little bit closer there at the end, but a uh, real nail biter there, and a really enjoyable episode of relatively fast game one, but uh, awesome mirror match in the game two, and we, that does bring us into the 1700s now, which is pretty exciting, so gonna be using this team probably for the next week or so, since I didn't get to upload as many episodes as I would have liked this past week, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, hope you guys enjoyed, leave a like like always if you did, and I'll see you guys next time, alright, peace.